Hey guys, I have for the longest time been asked so many times, so many times, how I make videos and what equipment I use. And I see people asking me specifically, what do you use? I wanna use that. And the thing is, I have all this awesome equipment and I am really happy with it, I am really proud of it, but I've spent years working on what I do and it is now my full-time job. So I'm able to buy these ex more expensive things. And I've saved up for a very long time to buy what I did as a progress, right? And you don't need the things I have to start making videos that are good quality and are fun to watch. I started on YouTube making random shitty World of Warcraft and League of Legends just as it came out of beta videos like five years ago or something crazy like that. And I had a lot of fun making them. And I'd like to share the possibility of that fun with you if you wanted to try making your own gaming videos. And there's a lot of great guides and people saying how to do it in their own videos, but I wanna make it snappy, short, efficient, and I want to tell you how to make them for free or what's the luxury thing that you can have that you don't necessarily need. So let's keep this short and simple. I am using a Blue Yeti microphone to record my voice. You don't need one of those. It is a great USB podcast mic. It has a great sound. It's fairly cheap for what it does. I do think it's a great microphone. But the thing is, you don't need it. You could easily just use a headset microphone like I did for a long time. These can be a lot cheaper than buying a specific microphone or hell, you might just wanna buy a specific microphone. At the end of the day, this is something that is not gonna be free unless, I don't know, someone just gives you one. But you need one to record your voice. My advice on this topic is that you have a microphone that records your voice and doesn't have horrendous background noise. If you do, people will click off your video. It's irritating to listen to. It's not something I wanna listen to. It's not something you wanna listen to. So have a microphone that doesn't have horrendous background noise. It doesn't need to be some crazy, amazing headset mic like a Sennheiser, like I used to use. It doesn't have to be an amazing Blue Yeti mic. It just needs to be able to record your voice without a crazy amount of background noise that's really distracting or annoying. Okay, so it's great that you have something to record your voice with that hopefully doesn't have background noise, but now you need to be able to record your game, the thing that you're showing, right? And to record your screen or your game, you're gonna need some sort of recording software. For the longest time, I used Fraps, which is not free, but here's some great programs that are free and one that I currently use. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a program called Shadowplay. It is very good. It is completely free if you have one of these graphics cards. They just provide it. You use uh, the GE Force Experience or whatever faff name the launch is called, and then you open Shadowplay through that. It's very basic, I admit. Um, you know, you can't really change what you can and can't do there too much. You have some very basic options, but it gets the job done. And it does manage to record in 1080p, 60 FPS if you want it to. You can do a lot lower than that. And the great thing about Shadowplay is the fact that it doesn't take a huge amount of space on your hard drive. The video files aren't gonna be huge. There is a small loss of quality because of that, but mostly it's unnoticeable. So I really recommend Shutterplay. It is something I use. Now, not everyone has the NVIDIA graphics card, right? So what are you gonna use if you don't have that? OBS is a great alternative. It's open broadcast software. A lot of people use this to stream, but you can actually record video on it, and a lot of people did. I used it for a little while. Um, so what I recommend with that, is it's a bit more complex. It is 100% free. Anyone can use it, irrelevant of what graphics card you have, but it's a bit more complex. There are tons of YouTube tutorial videos out there that I would recommend you check out for how to record using OBS or how to stream if you're interested in that. And thankfully, we live in a day and age where YouTube is essentially the mother load of great information and there are tons of people already there to help you. So you can check out those videos. Now you could use Fraps as an alternative. That's something I use for a long time. It does cost a bit of money to buy a license to download and it does run a little bit harder on your computer. It, you're gonna need a good computer to be able to run Fraps and the game at the same time. If you're not careful, you can overload your computer. So consider that if you don't have an amazing computer. And also it does have huge files, like these things, these files that Fraps records are massive. They're ridiculously huge. And it's a reason why I occasionally struggle for space and Josh still does on his many, many external hard drives. And I have one as well. But the thing is, uh, if you want the best quality, Fraps is a great choice because it, it it has almost essentially no loss. It looks phenomenal. It captures very well. And that's why it's so intensive. And that's why the video files are so massive. But it's a luxury. That's the thing. If you want to start out, you should start free to test the waters. So Shadowplay, OBS, I recommend those. There are other great recording softwares out there, but these are the ones that I recommend. Okay, so now you've got the visuals of the game. You're going to need a way to record your own voice. Now you might think, well, why not I just record my voice using Shadowplay or OBS or Fraps? Well, you can do that. And all the audio 
video will be on the same level. And you might find yourself at one point going, hang on, the game sounds a bit too loud and my mic's too quiet, or vice versa. And you can't manipulate these files separately in the editing. Well, that's why I do what I do. I record all of my audio from a microphone on a program called Audacity. It's 100% free, it's phenomenal, I've used it since I started YouTube. Download that program, it is fucking awesome. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start recording via Audacity, get that going, then you're gonna start speaking into your microphone while recording your screen using whatever you're using. Let's say Shadowplay, for example. Now you have two different things going, you're gonna need to sync them up. A very good way to do this is to clap uh, to get the two audios to show a spike and then it'll line up in editing layer, we'll get to that. Or you can just tap the microphone and mess with the menus. But again, we'll explain that a little bit better in a moment. So let's do that now. Editing software. So you have the files, you got the video file of uh, your game, you got the audio file of yourself talking, for example, and then you need to actually put them together. Now, free editing software, bit harder to come by. You have Windows Movie Maker and you have the Mac stuff, uh, the Apple stuff like iMovie, right? And these things are a little bit different. Windows Movie Maker is pretty bare bones and basic, pretty crap. And then you have iMovie, which is apparently pretty good. Now, disclaimer, I've never had a Mac. I've never used a Mac to edit. I have friends that I trust their opinion and I know that they say it's very good and it's very easy to use. And that's a great benefit for someone who's using a Mac, for example, to make videos. But I've never had one. So I used Windows Movie Maker for a long time when I started out and it's very bare bones. There's almost nothing to it and it's really easy to understand. That's the beauty of this thing because it's free. You can just download it and try it, right? And then the fact that it is so simple means that there's no crazy complex stuff. You're not overwhelmed. You just put your video file in there. You put your audio file in there. You line them up and you're good to go, right? Now, you can't do a lot of things that I wish you could in there, but it's a good way to start. You know, it might be a bit awkward, but because it's free, it's worth trying and using. There might be other great editing software out there, but personally, I use Windows Movie Maker, and then I went to Sony Vegas. Now, Sony Vegas, you do have to buy a license to download it, and there are many different ones. Some are way more expensive. Some aren't so expensive. I think I spent like 70 pound on mine, which is like 110, 120 dollars, which is fairly expensive for editing software if you're starting out especially right but ultimately you just need something to put your video files into and then line them up and edit them a little bit you don't need to do anything too complex to start out so let's talk about how to edit something it's really simple you just drag your video file in, you drag your audio file in, and then let's do the audio thing I was talking about where you sync up the audio. So since we've got two audio files here, we have the gameplay and then the uh, audio of your microphone, you need to sync them up. Best way to do that and the way I do it is just tap your microphone and you wanna open and close a menu at the same time. So you've got something to like reference when you're doing it in game. So what I do in many games is press escape, it brings up a menu, I press escape, it closes the menu. So what I do is I tap my microphone when I hit escape and I tap it a second time. Then I just line it up like that where it syncs in the audio. It's really easy to understand when you're looking at it. Explaining it feels a little bit weird. But you can do this in any game. Even ones where escape doesn't open a menu, you find an alternative. Like in Dark Souls, for example, I would uh, open the gesture menu and then go right, left, right, left while tapping my microphone as I do that. And then I, I am able to link it up in the visual audio of editing later. Now you've got your audio and your visual like linked up and now they're grouped together. You're just gonna go ahead and get rid of all the faff in your video, like dead air and empty space, for example. From there, you can edit it more. Uh, let's not get too complicated here. And once you've got your video that you're happy with, you just need to render it. Rendering takes all this new stuff that you've got here in these files and puts them into one file, like squeezes them together. And then that's the file you upload to YouTube. You. Rendering can work differently in many different programs, but I'm keeping it vague because we might be using a lot of different ones here, depending on who you are and what you've got. But usually the options like make a movie or render your video, and you can choose what quality you want to do it in to suit whatever you can. My advice on this one is try not to upload in less than 720p, but the bare minimum should be 480p. 480p is like acceptable to most people to watch it, whereas lower than that is a bit blurry and gross to look at these days and age. And you can easily achieve 480p on free software and free equipment. But if you have the option, go 720p, 1080p is the dream, right? But you don't need to. And as far as the basics go, that's it. That's how I started. I started recording with Fraps and I put it in Windows Movie Maker. I made it at least tangibly make sense, right? And then I would render it, then I would upload it and that's it. Now, all you need to do to start doing this yourself is have the basic equipment to do it, basic uh, programs to do it, and just try it. Now, my main advice, as I said, is you need to start 
with something that doesn't cost money because if it's a hobby and it's something you've never done before and you put loads and loads of money into it and then you find out you don't like it, that would be the worst thing ever. So start with things that are very cheap, very free, and uh, yeah, try, see if you like it. Personally, I had so much fun doing it and how I started out was making videos for myself and my friends and a couple random people found the videos and started watching them and it's a really fun feeling. I started like five years ago and you can start the day if you want to. I wish you the best of luck and I hope this video was interesting even if maybe you're not interested in making your own videos, just seeing how it works. See you next time, guys. Now, I did bring up the fact that I do use Fraps sometimes. Fraps is phenomenal because I fucking hate you. How am I on Discord right now? <laughs> you motherfucker, they can't even hear you. Can't, can't even hear you, man. They can't hear you. For fuck's sake. <laughs> and why does Discord do that sometimes? Really annoying. Fuck you. Oh my god.